I couldn't believe it because the first time I got here, I thought it was for the Purple Tour. I thought it was the just the last tour. So I say, okay, I'm gonna have the, my highlights in my career and play with my favorite band. And then when I when I started uh, to consider the idea of doing original material, that was oh, my name is gonna be in the record. That was my first concern. So I need to be the best. So I I started to to think about how I could like put something on the plate for the others in order to make them proud of me. And uh, so I was very excited, of course, and I'm still very excited. I can't believe until I see the CD, the real thing, I, I won't believe it. I had a lot of fun making that record. I mean, I've been, you know, these guys are my friends, you know, and, uh, and they're partners in crime, you know. Um, we're very comfortable around one another. That's what makes it so much fun. Uh, it's like you can kind of hang out in your socks all day type of vibe, you know what I mean? I mean, it's a great bunch of guys in this band. Uh, the, the tours that we've done have been lots of laughs. You know, Michael Devon is really one of the funniest guys I've ever met. I mean, he can do any voice and imitate. We're rarely speaking in our own voices on our band bus. So it's a lot of fun. You know, everybody's got their own brand of humor. TA's great with the one-liners, and Reb is also great with voices and is a very witty guy. Um, so it's lots of laughs, and that tends to go a lot further than you would think on the road. You know, when you're laughing and having a good time together, uh, that makes all the musical stuff uh, a lot less, uh, I guess, grinding. You know, when you're traveling and going through uh, difficult conditions, uh, it really helps to have uh, that positivity and, and the laughs to kind of carry you through. So uh, they're a joy to work with, and I think we have uh, great chemistry together in that regard. In the night, me and Rab would spend some time in the studio, and I got the chance to record him doing some guitars. And the best experience I had is like, he's such a talented guy. And uh, when he was playing, uh, I remember he was playing a solo and he drove the pick and he kept playing and he got the pick back and he, and he kept, I, it's amazing. I mean, I would never do something like that. Now I would because I've seen that. But I think, um, yeah, the cool thing about uh, every member of the band is that you can have stories every day because everybody has their own character and, uh, and they don't fake. I mean, everybody's everybody. Tommy is, is one of a kind. They broke the mold. The Lord above said, okay, Tommy Aldridge, you know, throw the rest out. He's so unique and he's so funny. I love Tommy, you know, and he's got these sayings. I, you know, he's got Tommyisms. I call them Tommyisms. Man, it's hotter than a three-picker billy goat in here. Oh man, it's colder than a horse heart, man. Right? He, he, just these things, you know. <laughs> you know, we gotta leave fast. He says, "Man, grab your ball huggers and hoofs uh, and hoof uh, covers. We gotta get out of here. Your ball huggers and hoof covers, my underwear and shoes." So I gotta decipher this shit with this guy first. I'm like, who is this man? You know. Uh, he's amazing. He, he's got so much energy and uh, I challenge anybody, like half his age, to get behind a kid and do what he does. He's a, he's a fucking you know, marvel of modern science, man. You know? Yeah, I mean, I think people play like their personalities. So in, in my experience, I've only met a handful of musicians that didn't play like their personalities in my lifetime. The big balance about this band and everybody has their own persona. I mean, Joel is a very talented, great player. He can read, he can, he's a very super musician. And uh, Reb is the heart of the band for me. And uh, I like the wisdom that Michael has, so to speak. So I think we all try to fit uh, ourselves, uh, creating the, like a, a good balance. So playing with them uh, is not about pushing yourself into the mix. It's like trying to realize what's going on and trying to see if you, if you can actually add something to it. And uh, everybody's very aware of that. And everybody's very re respectful in that way.